Hey guys, welcome back to DAT. Today we are going to be making this handy little lipo charging case right here. Stay there. In this video, I want to quickly show you how I charge my lipo batteries. And um, lipo batteries for me, they can be a little bit dangerous. I've got a child in the house at the same time and if there's a fire, it could be quite problematic. So I'm very cautious about my LiPo charging, which is why I made a LiPo charging case. This is basically an old ammunition case. This is a 50 caliber or 50 cartridge, well 100 cartridge, 50 caliber case. That's what it is. This is brand new, purchased from eBay. I think it was around 18, 19 pounds. So it didn't break the bank. Very robust, very tough, and I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect, but it gives me a little bit of confidence when I do charge my batteries. If there's a problem, if the LiPo battery goes off, it will be maintained a little bit better in there than it would be if it was just on the floor. If it's just on the floor in your house and there's a problem, you're gonna have a big fire on your hands. So this does give me a little bit of confidence. But I am still worried about LiPo batteries. You should never leave your LiPo batteries unattended at all. Little disclaimer, I am not a LiPo expert. So please, whatever you do, please be careful with your LiPo batteries and it is your own responsibility. Do not come back to me saying, Dad, I followed your advice and now my house is burnt down. I'm just showing you what I do. Okay, thank you. Anyway, this is what I do. This is my LiPo charger. That actually sits outside. A couple of holes in here. Cables are pushed through and the batteries are actually charged in there. For me, that works really well. And we're gonna make this right now. So stay there. First things first, you're gonna need a drill. And this is just a standard Bosch electrical drill. This is a 14 sized drill bit metal drill bit obviously because we are going to be drilling straight through a ammo case so it needs to be metal metal drill bit guys okay so that's to the side for the minute here's the case like so we are basically just going to put two holes straight through here and i have a bag of these and these are just from a local hardware store. And if you can see that, they're wiring accessories. These are just a rubber, rubber grommet. There you go, sorry, I almost couldn't say that word for some reason. <laughs> they're 20 mil. So you've got the 14 mil, we're gonna do a bit of wiggling with that. And we're gonna put these in, it's just electrical, just to keep the edge smooth because you don't want actually rough metal snagging your wires. You don't want your metal snagging your wires because then you're probably gonna cause a fire anyway, so what's the point of doing this whole thing? So there we go, let's get out there, and we're just gonna drill this straight on this table right now. All right, here we go. Hopefully my camera can pick this up. Bit of pressure. Almost lost my hand. There we go, bit of wriggling. You see a bit more wriggling needed. There you go, sorry about that little edit there. All I've done is I've just wiggled, carried on wiggling, just made this hole a lot wider. Here's one of the rubber grommets. 
and basically this now will just fit in there like so nice and snug gives you the hole there and now we're going to repeat the process on this side there we go and the hole is done so grab another Grommet, that magical word I almost couldn't say. Squeeze it in. Make the hole nice and soft, because we all like soft holes, don't we guys? There we go. So, holes are in. And then obviously what you need are your cables, because they need to get plug into your uh, You've got your bounce board, and you've got your XD connection. So XD connection goes that way. Like so you need your bounce board actually inside. So just unclip, place through. Open up. Put the bounce board back in, like so. And repeat. XT connection. Good size. Bounce board. Reconnect it inside. There you go. Bounce boards are in there. Next to connections. Close it up. Nice smooth connectors. Nice smooth connections on here. These just plug straight in here. Just like that guys. So there you have it, all in place. And that's how I charge my lipos. Lipos fit in there. Like so. On your bounce board. You know, there's loads of room. And that's exactly how I do it. There you go. Very easy job. Box it there. If you do do this, please remove the rubber seal. There's a rubber seal that comes with these. Take it out because if something goes wrong with these and there isn't an air escape, there should be a little one at the back now, but you're basically making them bomb. So don't do that. Take this rubber seal out. There you go, guys. Hope you like that video. Uh, quite an easy thing to do, it gives you a little bit of peace of mind. The rubber grommets are actually perfect on the back, you know, so you can't snag your cables. They are they are needed. You could put some tape around if you wanted to, but it probably wouldn't be as good. Like I said, it gives me a little bit of peace of mind because I do charge my batteries in my house. I am actually sat in with them in my office downstairs, so when they're on charge, I do not leave them alone. Do not leave your lipos if you're charging them. You should always be around so you know what's going on. They are dangerous things and this just, you know, gives me that little bit of reassurance. But like I said, I am not a LiPo expert. How you charge your LiPos and stuff like that is completely up to you. Do not blame me for anything that happens. With that said, thumbs up, please subscribe. Cheers guys, thanks.